Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is a tricky IGCSE question. Uh, I did this question recently, and I was like, wow, this is different to any question I've seen before, and required like an extra level of thinking, so I thought this would be a good one to do. Um, and if you are looking for more grade 9 content, uh, then check out my live revision session. Uh, link in the description, it's on Saturday. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be going over loads of grade 9 questions um, across the two and a half hours. So check that out. Okay, um, let's get into this one. So I'm going to read the question first. It says the diagram shows the cross-sectional, um, the cross-section of a circular water pipe. Um, and it says that A, B, so O, A, B, C is a sector of a circle. The shaded region in the diagram represents the water flowing through the pipe. The water flows, flows through at 17, 14 centimetres uh, per second in the pipe. Work out the volume of water that's flowed through the pipe in three minutes, giving your answer in centimetres cubed. Okay, so, I mean, instantly, when I see a diagram like this and I've got a shaded area, I'd want to find what the shaded area is. Um, so let's give that a go then. So uh, in order to find what is called a segment, First, we need to find the sector of the circle. Okay, so I'll do that up here. Um, the sector is part of the overall circle. It's a fraction of the circle, and the fraction is dependent on the angle that the sector makes. So it's a 72 de degree angle, so we divide that by, by 360, and we times that by pi r squared, um, and r is 4.8. So we do pi times 4.8 squared, like so. Perfect. Okay, so that is the sector. Um, I will go to the trouble of working it out, just because if I wasn't an exam and I wasn't doing a speed run, then I would make sure that I put all of my working down, just in case I don't get the final answer right. I will definitely get some working marks. So. That would be 14.476. Uh, and that degree of accuracy is, is absolutely fine. Um, I don't think we're going to slip up there. Um, particularly because it says three significant figures as our final answer. So I've given it to five, so we should be fine. Okay, so next I'm going to go to triangle. I'm going to work out the area of this yellow triangle. Because if I know the yellow triangle and I know the blue sector... I can subtract and I can get the shaded area. So the triangle, we're going to use a half A, B, sine C. So that's a half. And remember, the C represents the angle. And the A and the B are the sides that are next to the angle. So both A and B are 4.8 because they are both part of the, they're both radii of the circle. So 4.8 times 4.8, which is the same as 4.8 squared then times by sine of the angle, which is 72. Okay, great. So again, I'm going to go to my calculator. Um, and <clears throat> if I was like speed running, I would just do this all in one calculation. Uh, but I'm just doing them separately before I subtract them, just so I can write down these values. Uh, so that's 10.956. That should be enough degree of accuracy. Okay, great. So now I can work out the segment. I'll do that up here. So the segment or the shaded area is going to be the sector minus the triangle. So this will be 14.476 minus 10.956. Um, so I could go over here on my calculator and I could do 14.476 and I could subtract and I might use the answer actually because the last answer was in the calculator um, and I get an area of 3.52. Um, okay, um, so... Uh, there's two ways of doing this. So one is to think about um, the the water flowing through the pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw down here a sort of three-dimensional version of this pipe. 
In fact, I'm just going to look at the um, uh, the shaded area, which is this part here. So the water is going to be flowing through this um, this pipe like so. So it's going to look a bit like this, okay? Uh, like that. So the water is going to be coming in in this direction. Um, and what it's telling us is that uh, if we just look at one stream of the water, then it's going to travel 14 centimeters per second. So let's say we've got a little speck of water here. That's going to travel all the way down here. In one second, it's going to cover 14 centimeters. So we've got to think about what the volume is going to be per second. So for every little um, stream, every tiny little drop, it's going to, there's going to be 14 centimeters going of water coming along that line. And in fact, we've got water coming in all through this area and each part of it, uh, the water will travel 14 centimeters or there'll be 14 centimeters worth of water coming all the way through at every part of the area. So the volume <clears throat> in one second will be the area of the, um, the shaded sector uh, segment and then multiplied by the 14 centimeters that it's going to travel. Um, <clears throat> now that is for every second and what we want is across three minutes. So three minutes is 180, 180 seconds. So I'm going to multiply it by 180. Now there's another way that we could confirm that this is going to work and that is by looking at the unit and that was centimeters squared because that was area times by 14 uh, which is the flow which is centimeters per second so centimeters uh, over seconds like that times by 180 which is seconds so we can do the calculating of the, the, the numerical part. So we can take this, this answer, uh, we can multiply that by 14, and then we can multiply that by 180. Um, and we get uh, 8870, um, which is nice, because it needs to be rounded to three significant figures, and it, we've literally just done that. Uh, so that, and then if we look at the units, we have centimeters squared times centimeters which gives us centimeters cubed and then we have divided by seconds and multiplied by seconds which will cancel out so we have the correct unit so we know that we've done the correct sort of multiplication of uh, of values um, and that's it yeah that's a wrap so I thought that was quite a tricky question because I've never seen a question where you have to consider the flow of water um, in the units of like centimeters per second. So I thought it was an interesting one to do. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out my live revision session, link in the description, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.